don't, I don't understand why people can't wear a fucking mask. What is so wrong with wearing a fucking mask? Now those people are anti-mask wearers that are fucking burning masks and wasting them when they could be wearing them. You know why there's a second wave right now and why tons of pe more people in Texas and Florida and California and all those people are dying? Because they're not listening to the rules and they're wearing, not wearing a fucking mask. And that's why they're, they got the coronavirus again, you know, not again, but have a lot of people getting it again. Because people are not wearing the fucking mask. Here in my town, tons of people are wearing a mask. And if you're not wearing one, they give you a dirty look. Because I went into Target to get a mask. Because I didn't have a proper mask. I felt weird wearing a bandana one. Because I felt like... Not people will judge me, but I just felt uncomfortable. Because I, I myself feel like... You know, <clears throat> oh, I'm rubbing the place, but really I'm not. They were looking at me like, where's your mask? And I'm holding it in my hand going, I'm buying one, chill. And then I hated it because it was not a, it was too thick of a mask. Flowers are not safe. You can get corona from the flowers. Yeah, okay. And I don't know why they reopened up the, the beaches knowing that tons of people are going to join it. And they're talking about Zoom giving out too much info and stuff like that. But yeah, wear a mask. It's just, it's easy. I've got one. I'm going to get my hair. We're just friends. Doing. And yeah, we got a new toilet seat. I cleaned that out today. I cleaned that up. I even cleaned this stuff up. So, well, my stuff is here and here. This is all my mother's, right here. And then this is mine right here. And then drawers and fixed them. And, and yeah, my mom did that, so. We've done a lot in this bathroom, but anyways. Good lighting is in the bathroom. Okay, okay. So what I was saying is wear a mask. It's just, I'm um, getting my hair done July. Ninth, my hair is like down to here, so I'm gonna get up to here. And I have to wear a mask for three fucking hours. I got a thin one. Like I do highlights and haircut, everything, and I cannot wait to get it done. And they're even ruining Fourth of July. They're like, you like the one that we go to is out of school, and they said, don't come up. Because most people, they drive up in their cars to watch the fireworks up at the school, and then they get out and they do their own fireworks. They said, we'll still do the school fireworks, but we want all of you to stay home and watch from your house. Do not um, come to the school. Um, dude, they're not going to listen to you. They're going to go through the neighborhood and they're going to, people from out of town and stuff can't just stay home and watch because they don't live there. So, they're just going to the neighborhoods and park. You should just tell them, you can come but stay in your car and watch because and not come out. We're not allowed to do our own fireworks, nothing like that. Which, that is illegal here in my town, so that's where we go to another town. But, I just heard on Inside Edition that anybody in, I don't know what state this is in, but they said, if you are not wearing a mask, you will be arrested. We will take you to jail. And I'm thinking, really? While you're busy over here arresting somebody for not wearing a fucking mask, who should have been wearing one in the first goddamn place, there's going to be someone across town that really needs you because they're getting robbed or killed. I mean, there's better people to put in jail than somebody that's refusing to wear a mask. Now what you should do is if they refuse to wear a mask, 
give them a ticket. Then it'll mess up their day because they're going to have to take time out of their busy schedule and go down to the cards and pay it. Ha, 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 Maybe if they wore a mask, they wouldn't have that problem. But I also was told that you don't need to wear a mask when you're by yourself unless you're around people. So are you saying that if you saw me walking on the streets and there's nobody around and I'm not wearing a mask, are you saying you're going to come to me and go, You're arrested! You're not wearing a mask! Even though you're not around anybody! So you need to, like, really explain what do you mean by if you're not wearing a mask? Because what you should say is, If you're not wearing a mask while you're around other people, then we'll take you to jail. Because... Because why should we wear a mask when there's nobody around? That 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 doesn't help nothing. So you get what I'm saying, guys? Just wear a mask. Wear a mask. If you don't like the mask, then get a mask that you like. Like, I went to Dylan's, got me a United States flag. There wasn't much choice. I didn't want that mask. I kind of wanted to get <clears throat> the gay pride one where it's the rainbow one for gay pride but I, I could I can't wear that at work not because oh it's for gay pride you can't wear that at work it's not right but no it's because it's inappropriate to wear something like that to a college place when they just want you in generic things so you don't set off or piss off anybody and I understand so, I don't, you know, and when school starts, the rule is, you must, if you go on campus, you must have a mask on at all times on campus, which I understand. So you get a mask that works for you. I got a paper thin mask, well it's not paper thin, but it feels like paper thin, and it smells, I don't know what kind of fabric it is or whatever, but inside of it, when you get it to you to your mouth, it smells really good. Like, did they spray perfume on it or something? I don't know, but it smells good. It feels good, and I could wear it for three hours and not have one single prop. Now, the thick black one that I got that I told you about, that one I'll probably wear, like, would be good to wear in the wintertime. Because not only is the, good, is the mask good to keep you away from getting coronavirus, but it's also good to keep you warm in the cold when it's cold outside so I'd wear it for that and and everything but yeah I was one of those people that I'm not wearing a mask I'm just gonna take my chance and if I die I die and I won't wear a mask unless they force me to wear a mask but then I see the point of wearing a mask and the reason why I didn't want to wear a mask is because I can't even have a blanket over my face without freaking out and and not breathing. And that's what I was worried about. But then I found out if you find the mask that works for you, then you won't have that problem. So last weekend I did that. And so I'm happy with the mask that I got. But anyways, I'm going to get going. I'm going to let you guys go. Talk to you guys later. Later, haters. You were standing on there, by the way. Oh, yeah. What do you guys think about that dust storm that's coming and supposed to kill people? And people are freaking out. People with asthma and stuff are freaking out. Going, oh, my God, I'm going to die. <laughs> well, if you stay in your fucking house and keep your windows closed and your door closed, uh, you ain't going to fucking die. So shut the fuck up. Second of all, I'm sorry, but that just doesn't seem, the whole death storm thing does not seem real to me. Because the photos that they were showing and stuff look like photos from, look like just dark clouds, like it's about to rain. And they're like, no, that's a dust storm. Really? I don't know. What do you guys think about that? Let me know in the comments down below. Hey guys, do you know we're dealing with stupid people in this world? This um, news lady, um, one of the news ladies, I don't remember which one, 
But they're on Twitter saying mean things to her, going, Oh my god, you look terrible. You need a you need to get a stylist. If I was that bitch well, she's not a bitch, but if I was that girl, I would have tweeted back saying, Did you forget we're in a pandemic? Social distances, dum dum. The reason why we're broadcasting from our house is because of the coronavirus. You can't get a stylist during these times. All those people on TV that have stylists and stuff, I'm thinking, um, you have a stylist? Like, I didn't know that news crews and other people that do TV, sh live TV shows and stuff have stylists. I thought it was just for people that do movies and stuff, but apparently it's not. And so I was like, I was like, that was rude to say. Like, did you forget that we're in a pandemic and that she can't get us? Like, they basically was like, can you afford a stylist? I'm like, really? Are you that stupid to forget that they can't get a stylist at this time? But then you, you realize, because I'm sorry. I, okay, I like Kelly Clarkson, but I am sorry. She is really ugly without makeup. But she's pretty with makeup. And apparently a lot of these talk shows and people gave up on their on putting makeup on and stuff. It's like, what's the point? But then it makes you wonder that do they even know how to do their own makeup? Quarantine haircut stuff was coming up. A lot of people don't know how to cut hair either. And it's like, wow. On YouTube of how to do your makeup and how to do your hair that you could have googled at this time until you get a stylist and learn how to do it yourself. It's like you don't know how to do your own nails, makeup. You could save so much money if you knew how. Video, you have a stylist? Like what the fuck? And then that one girl's like, I don't wash my hand unless I'm going to be on video. I've only washed, since the quarantine, I've only washed my hair twice in the last three months. And I'm like, are you fucking serious? That's disgusting. Even if you're not going anywhere, just keep up with washing your hair. That way, you one, you feel better about yourself. And second of all, so you don't look trashy if, if an emergency comes up and they're like, Hey, we need you on camera in, in like five minutes. And then you're like, oh my god, I can't be on camera. Oh, I didn't wash my hair. Oh my god. I'll just throw a hoodie on. Or I'll just throw a hat on over my hair. They won't even notice. Or for the people that have fake hair, they just like, I'll just throw a wig on. I'll be alright. Like, come on. When my mom's like, hey, tomorrow we're gonna da 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 da. And I'm like, I didn't wash my fucking hair. So I either can go or not go or just put on fake hair or wash my hair when I get up in the morning depending on how early it is and stuff that's why I, I always figure out what we're doing before that day you know that day comes or before my mom goes the next day we're doing the you know no I ask her on a Friday what are we doing this weekend Ask her Friday morning and then find out the deeds and then know if I need to take a bath or not. So, yeah, I hope there's nothing else I need to talk to you guys about. Later, haters, just in case.